Hello there, knowledge seekers. Today, I'm going to take another crack at uh, dissolving platinum. Um, today, I have this mesh that is from a Toyota Cadillac converter. Uh, I've tested pieces of it with only nitric, with no reaction other than cleaning. And I actually cleanse these, because cleanliness is what's important. Um, I clean these in a bed of hydrochloric with no reaction. Uh, there's no rusting. Uh, I'm sure it's alloyed with something, probably cobalt. Um, but today, I bought an air cooker for $20 at the uh, thrift store. Um, it's ceramic coated, and I'm going to be putting a bed of sand uh, in there with my Lexan and I want to get the acid really hot because I've never succeeded. Um, I've used the sprinkles, but I don't think I ever got it hot enough. I don't know what I've done wrong, but I haven't succeeded and I hope to do that. This is the air roaster I picked up today. Uh, it is ceramic coated and it had this extra part that I'm probably going to use for a lid. I am hoping that it's safe against the fumes. Uh, of course I'm doing it outside. I have a fume hood but it's not very large. Uh, it has it came with this lid but I don't think that it's any match for Aqua Regia <laughs> and uh, that there which I'll find some other purpose for that. Probably cook me a steak on a fire. But uh, I'm going to put a bed of sand in there before I put my Pyrex. Uh, and I'm going to use this for a lid, like I said, uh, because this time around, I'm, I'm, my goal is to get the acid as hot as I can. And uh, this gets up to 450 degrees. I've run into a small snag, and that is that I don't have quite as much nitric as I thought. So I'm going to have to use that amount to do my calculations for the amount on the muriatic acid. I use it, it's 31.45% hydrochloric acid. Um, $10 for a gallon at my hardware store. Uh, nitric's a little bit more expensive, so I'm gonna have to measure it first to determine my mixture. Always measure on a flat surface, and I guess, you know, that's for the dum-dums. And uh, also, don't breathe the fumes. Uh, I have my phone which is handy because it has the flashlight so it gives me a pretty good idea where that line is. I have 325 roughly milliliters. I'm going to transport it back into my bottle. It's always a good idea to keep a bottle because when you buy acid if you have a bottle it costs less money because you're not buying a bottle. I know it seems obvious now that you hear it. Uh, I had some gelling here. This is a very old bottle. Uh, I hope the acid is strong enough. It's smoking plenty, but I'm going to go ahead and hurry and funnel it back in this one bottle now that I have an accurate reading. Still smoke coming out of the empty beaker, so that's why it's good to get it capped back off ASAP. I wanted to take just a moment to brag about this funnel that I found at Walmart. It is silicone, which means you can wash it in the dishwasher if you want. I'm able to use it one-handed, as you can see, to do something smaller if you want it. The funnel folds down flat, which I was able to do that one-handed. Uh, this isn't, it has a dipper, so I imagine this would fit on here better. And, uh... But it was at Walmart in the clearance aisle, and I've used it so much. The, the silicone will stick into most bottles. That it's built to fit any bottle or jar. It's so cool. I just came out here after making my mixture to see how my acids are doing, and they've only been here about five minutes, and uh, they are boiling. So I turned it from 450 to 400. Uh, I had the lid on it, which is cool because that keeps any leaves falling because I'm outside which I recommend you want to be 
away from people, away from anything metal, away from cars, away from animals, children, all of those things. But uh, it looks like it's ready for me to try some metal. So, this is actually very cool. There was no reaction. I'm gonna have to change sides because, like I said, you don't want to be downwind. But I had no reaction with nitric, and I had no reaction with hydrochloric. But together, I do have a reaction. Partially where the bed of sand comes in in case it does boil over. I hope it doesn't. But it's yellow and orange like platinum and palladium should be. And this is happening very fast and I'm loving it. I'm gonna have so much solution to neutralize, it's not gonna be funny. Aqua Regia in a air cooker in a bed of sand with a flawless mixture. It's going great. Look at that yellow. That's platinum. If you're around the smoke and it starts to sting on your arm, I recommend running it under water. Remember cleanliness. That's that's our goal. Doing this in the sun, I bet you. Well, I've done my uh my uh, dissolving and I put this lid on here to protect it but there's a uh, yellow liquid on both sides that I want to try and keep the liquid because there's going to be uh, precious metals in there uh, so I have my assistant here to help me now to, to video it but I'm going to be funneling it I have uh, distilled water you don't want to use tap water because there's all sorts of different types of metals in tap water that will interfere with your precious metals. 